two months since my last video a lot has changed I'm gonna have to make a video about how much has changed and what's on the go but I've got a new shed more like a garage now a garage there you go Oops. full on garage and I got a window with light who knows maybe better quality videos Maybe I just won't have time for videos. Maybe I won't care. I don't know. But I do owe some time and attention to uh, canister watches. Du, du, du. Let's get it to focus. As per usual, mediocre videos um, about great watches. Uh, so I'm going to turn my camera around so you can get a better view of this. Ah. Uh. An alarm on my phone just cut the video off, so I had to start again. Um, canister watches. Chris Lou of uh, the Instagram handle Island of Misfit Misfit Watches um, or Misfits uh, has put out his first watch, and it's just a great first offering. It's on Kickstarter right now. Before I go into any of the details. Trust me on this one. Uh, it's a great offering. Uh, some updates will be made from the prototype I have here. The prototype is awesome. So with the updates he's about to make uh, for the production run and the release, guaranteed phenomenal watch. Uh, so impressed already. It's a little bit field watch. It's a little bit uh, dive watch. It's all around tough, robust great tool watch so let's get into some of the details here now so hands in front of the camera for another mediocre watch review my reviews never do justice to the watches that are sh being sent in or the watch uh that is being shown uh, i've had this for at least three weeks huge thank you to chris for lending it into the channel don't own the watch wasn't a freebie i don't receive any money let's be very clear about these things um the only thing chris has done is paid for shipping uh to get it to me and he'll pay for the shipping to get it back for me which i certainly do appreciate uh that is a cost incurred by a micro brand startup uh so check him out on kickstarter i'll put those details there in the uh, uh description of the video but overall this is the uh prototype offering watch uh on a great rubber strap and uh looks like these cases are going to be coming with them uh so let's open it up uh wonderful steel bracelet i uh just didn't size it for myself uh everything about this bracelet i think is lovely again all the things i look for anyways um if you don't look for them then maybe they're not lovely to you um you know some guys don't like the male protruding link uh, the mail in type there, but uh, look at that, just drops away. Definitely was comfortable on wrist. Uh, security keeper on the double pusher release fold over class. As per usual now, just about every micro brand watch startup or micro brand watch company worth its salt is doing a milled fold over clasp. So, security keeper, nice and solid. And uh, six micro adjusts there. And his logo. I think overall, Chris, um, I think in the early stages, I didn't even know it was Chris, really. I knew Chris on Instagram or through Instagram. And then uh, all of a sudden, this canister watches started showing up in my Instagram feed. And I followed them because they were another Canadian micro brand, which, uh, you know, we got to support being a local Canadian guy. Um, and Chris was going out on Facebook and in Instagram asking for input. I didn't know it was Chris, but I was providing input to Canister. Um, Chris really went out to hear the went out to hear what the community had to offer 
in suggestions for what they wanted in a micro brand. So super comfortable. Uh, again, all the typical stuff. Uh, 316L stainless steel. Uh, nice logo. Uh, you know, just application for... Um, and so it's a bit of depth to it. So it's pressed and looks to be, you know, maybe brushed within there. I'm not sure how that gets applied because I am mediocre. I don't check into these things. If you need the details, check out uh, uh, Canister Watches and uh, his Kickstarter. So, again, completely brushed all around um, bracelet. Then, let's talk about... I've been wearing it, so it's actually sort of grubby, which is yeah, a little bit gross. Um, then a great, uh, rubber strap. So my complaints with rubber straps are, uh, that the, the head is usually the head piece, the one with the buckle, I call it, but anyways, the head is usually great. Uh, but the tail, uh, portion of the strap is never quite long enough. So, um, anyways, this one runs you about, yeah, so it's about five inches. Yeah. About five inches in length, five and a quarter ish in length and lots of um, holes there to get great adjustment i've found the watch extremely comfortable overall so, you know so there's some anecdotal uh, sort of you know how comfortable is it well i know it's probably one of the better quality um, rubber straps uh, very supple and soft um, and as for design, well, that's more of a personal preference. If you like the design, great. If you don't, you can't fault the quality of the strap, which is great. And I do like the design, double keepers, and then canister. There we go. Let's get it correct in the light. Canister uh, pressed right there into the uh, buckle. So again, the typical all stainless steel construction. So this is locked. Uh, so here's the case back, uh, screw down case back, screw down crown, sapphire crystal, uh, ceramic bezel insert, uh, case, no drilled lugs. Personal preference, I love drilled lugs, but there's no issue with the construction of the case. The case side profile, uh, I really do like, um, and I love the bezel. We will talk about the bezel shortly. Let's uh, just zoom in a little bit. All right. So case back. Uh, again, I love that Chris has thrown out a little bouquet to his origins. Uh, so this is a Canadian watch brand. And then the, again, logo for Canister 2021. And then Canister watches there inside the press pressed uh, area of the case back sapphire automatic 200 meters of water resistance lot number 001-21 this is a prototype chris is going to get back from me so overall again watch extremely comfortable case design is phenomenal i love it again you take it for what it's worth uh from a pardon me my god from a quality standpoint Top notch. The watch has been phenomenal. Design standpoint, you know, maybe there's things you might like, things you might not like, but you can't, again, fault the watch for uh, quality. It's been great. Uh, so, dial face. This is probably the only white dial faced watch uh, that I actually like. Like, like I, I properly like it. Uh, legibility is phenomenal in uh, natural light. Uh, the black. Uh, numbers uh, against the white dial looks great and uh, is easy to read the date indicator just great no issues there um the bezel oh. chris did a phenomenal job on bezel uh choice here the bezel action is great fairly solid lineup of the uh outside bezel to the inside uh, markers always you know for those of us who are OCD about these things it stands out and you know so take that into account for what you will uh, when you're looking at canister watches let me hold it very still for a second and let's get a good look yeah you can see that it's not quite lining up let's bring it all the way around again and double check See if it can line up. 
So I could fidget the bezel just a little bit to make it line up, but it's not quite clicked. There it is. So when it's in that, you know, what I would call the uh, correct position, it's slightly offline. So either you can handle that or you cannot. That is up to you. Um, I can't guarantee that your watch will show up with an aligned bezel. You would have to talk to Chris. Uh, but otherwise, bezel. Yeah, let's get back to the bezel. So this knurled edge here is phenomenal. The edge, uh, so how the bezel, it's almost flush with the case. I, th I would call it pretty well flush with the case edge. So it doesn't protrude around. Uh, but this knurling on it is just great. I've not had an issue. I love how this watch case and bezel all squ sort of square off. Just great all around. Line that back up again. Crown guards. Love the design of those crown guards. Really sort of not too smooth, not too sharp, sort of Goldilocks for me. Uh, again, case design for me is a winner all around. And that sort of, I don't know, man, it just, uh, it gives me marathon watch vibes. It gives me, uh, oh my gosh, 50 Fathoms. Uh, vibes. <laughs> Shit. Uh, anyways, the crown is and will be on your production model. Has the logo uh, pressed into the top of it. So a uh, the crown has uh, the logo in it there. So, yes, one of my pet peeves, which has been addressed already by Chris and the canister team for production, is that the crown is teeny tiny. That's a problem for me right there because I've got some chubby digits. And uh, the the guards are... they. You can see how the crown sits low on the underside but is basically flush. On the top, but from the bottom, you get the crown. You hit the crown before you hit the guards. On the top, you hit the guards before you hit the crown. So... Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, and confirmed by Chris and by his Kickstarter page that uh, that crown will be made larger. Actual dimensions are, uh, you know, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to measure it here. At five millimeters of, uh, you know, and that's with my uh, rickety little uh, plastic vernier caliper. So you take it for what you will. If that's an accurate measurement or not. Uh, so dimensions, uh, you can confirm on his Kickstarter page, but I get the dimensions at a 41 millimeter case diameter, which is like perfection for most. 12 millimeters of thickness, another great one. Um, lug to lug. I found the watch and I've got a seven and a half inch wrist. So the lug to lug is 51. And your lug width is, it is 20, that's my calipers, 20 mil lug width. Um, so 41 by 12 by 51 by 20. There's your measurements. I love the watch. It fit under cuff quite well and um, wore very comfortably. So seven and a half inch wrist. It was um, very comfortable all around. It does not come across. So at 51, let's see. I believe that was 51. Let's double check it. It is. It's 51 mil uh, of uh, lug to lug. And my wrist width, I would put at, well, not 51. That can't be right. I'm much, it's much too tight. Um, yeah, but if, oh, sorry, 61 to 64 mils um, width of my wrist. So it fits across my wrist quite nice. I've got a seven and a half inch wrist circumference, uh, inches to millimeters, you know, SAE to metric. I know a buddy of mine who's going to be screaming in the comments section about this one. Uh, so 
Listen. Here we are. Uh, Canister watches, you know, his, his sort of design ethos and uh, the different elements that, uh, you know, what came to make this a field master, uh, Canister field master. Uh, movement, oh my gosh, the movement is a Miyota 9000 series, I think it's a 9105. And uh, underneath the case, I'm not uh, about to take the case back off of this, this is not my watch to mess with. Uh, in that regard, so the case back's not coming off. Um, Chris chose the Miyota movement that's in this watch for its shock proofness. And um, Chris is no stranger to shock, shock and awe, I believe, in his personal life, um, if he so chooses to share. Um, check out his Kickstarter page. I'm pretty sure he's in the Canadian Armed Forces uh, Division, unknown to me. But uh, he knows a lot about shock and vibration and, uh, you know, how to put a piece of equipment through its uh, paces. And everything about this watch I, I totally uh, love. It's got a date, um, the case design. Uh, I actually like the white dial. I probably would choose this one in white, but it comes also, for your information, in black dial face and a blue dial face sort of a very royal blue almost matte but check out the kickstarter i think he's at 85 plus percent funded uh there's no reason for you to hesitate on buying one of these i don't want to sound like i'm uh, sort of chilling promoting but i am i am promoting this one uh 100 put my uh you know my backing behind it uh for what that's worth to anybody uh real life Three weeks with the watch on wrist, uh, no faults, no failures of the watch in any way. It's taken some smacks because I moved. Let's talk about it. Yeah, so I moved. Uh, we are three weeks into uh, a new home, and I wore the watch for those three weeks of moving pretty much every day. I did get another watch, a new one of my own. Through a trade, and so that one did take up a little bit of wrist time for me. Uh, but um, the canister watch was involved in all of what you see behind me for moving, lifting, uh, offloading boxes, containers, snowblower, lawnmower, ATV, uh, all my tools, uh, the toolbox, or rummaging through everything, which none of it's really yet organized. But um, the canister watch was with me for all of that and man i really think it's worth a look uh prices i think are like 359 right now because the first early birds are taken up at 329 so you get a bracelet and uh the rubber strap that i was just showing you but worth a look definitely at like 359 canadian uh check them out on kickstarter chris great job thanks again for lending me the watch um, really enjoyed it. Uh, man, this is the first video I've done in months. Um, yeah. So, here you go. Canister Watches, Fieldmaster. Check it out. Um, if you like mediocre watch reviews of great watches that uh, the reviews never do justice of, maybe you'll like and subscribe, and maybe you'll come back. I don't know. Uh, but I've got a new shed and a couple of new watches, and I'm going to go enjoy those. Take care. Next time. See ya.